Hi everyone, welcome back to VBA A to Z. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use the cell functions that you use in your Excel uh, worksheet um, through your VBA code or Excel macros. So, one of our uh, viewer, Nikunj, has asked like um, how to use, you know, like um, a VLOOKUP using a VBA. So, let's um, try to, you know, uh, see some examples how you can use the cell formulas. It's very simple. I'll just show you a few steps that you can use to automate um, these things uh, using your code. So first of all, um, I have this uh, dummy data set that I put in together and uh, this uh, tab has uh, sample data and then this is where we want to do a lookup for example. So this tab has a data um, with the UID and all the information about that particular um, client or an employee for example. So in this example we'll see how uh, you can do a lookup and get um, all the attributes for this particular UID. Okay. Um, so first I'll we'll show you I'll show you how you can write. I'm sure you know it but uh, we'll put a VLOOKUP function manually. So it's a VLOOKUP okay and then select I selected the user ID and then table array from where I want to do a lookup starting from my key column till the last column of the data and then I'll press F4 so that all this array table gets logged so that whenever we copy down the formula it does not uh, move the range and then let's say I want to return the first name first name so I'll put one two so column number two and then of the array table and then I want um, exact match so I'll say false or you say zero okay so this is the formula that we've created so now if we um, just fill it down for example so uh, it uh, has filled in all the names for all these uh, UIDs or basically the client ID or um, uh, the data ID okay so this is how you can put in um, manually put in into your worksheet now let's l I'll show you how you can uh, do this in VBA okay so the first thing is I'll show you the way you can do a recording of this so I'll record this I'll just make this a uh, VLOOKUP whatever test and then okay now I'll exactly write the same uh, formula called the VLOOKUP this cell VLOOKUP A2 from this data table I'll log the, the whole range I'll press 2 I'm just doing the same exact thing after I do this I hit enter okay now I'll stop the recording and then I'll go to developer tab visual basic and then I'll go and see where the code is so this is what it has recorded for us okay so this is a uh, r1c1 range i mean row and column format it is coming so the simplest way to have this let's say that you have a code here and then uh, you want to fill this particular range from b2 sorry b2 till b your last row which is 501 for example 501 so what will happen if i run this code now so it will fill in from B2 till B501 the same formula okay so I'll run this so if you see it has put in all the formulas for you know all of them at a different value okay now I'm coming back to my code let's say that uh, you want to directly copy and paste this formula that you already have so first ensure that uh, you take care of the log you know the column or the row number you know um, freeze and then uh, all this um, you can you know take care of the first formula just copy the formula and then instead of this you can also say that uh, range this dot formula instead of formula r1c1 we'll use formula is equal to and then our formula which we have we have here okay so I'll disable this I'll just comment this out for now. I'll remove all these codes 
I mean the result and run this particular code again okay so I'll select this I'll run this so you see that it has uh, put in the formula for all of them so it automatically understand that it needs to prefill in this manner it's like you have double click here it's like prefill so it's exactly the same thing okay so let's say that you have to directly just write the code or let's say that you have um, you want to put it through BVA directly without recording it so you'll say uh, BVA so you can just put in any name for this BVA test VLOOKUP oops okay so I'll say dim um, for example let's say that I want to return um, a, a name for this particular UID okay so I'll say dim um, my UID str as string and then let's see that um, that is my str is this and then I'll save my first name str is also string and then I'll say first name str is equal to application so this is where I'm putting my VLOOKUP formula okay application dot worksheet functions dot VLOOKUP so the same syntax so it's lookup value table array and then the index that you want to return and then the like match or uh, you know approximate match so I'll say VLOOKUP and then I want to look up my this UID okay and then I want to look up from uh, sheets or you can say for now range so range is from A1 till M501 okay so A1 till 5 M501 and then the return value is 2 and then 0 okay so here we are looking up from the data tab so I'll click on I'll put the name of the sheet as well I'll say look up from this sheet and then give me a value so the value we are expecting is um, this one is Somo Simona okay so if I say message box this I'll just saw a message box so let me debug and see if it works so my UIDS string is this and then my lookup value is this so it says Simona so this is how you can um, use uh, you know VBA uh, VLOOKUP in this manner so similarly if you have to do index and match and all any other functions um, you can do in this manner as well and then you can explore other methods from you know from this list so after the work worksheet function is here you see all these are you know uh, the worksheet functions that are available for you to use in your VBA code so just try it out and um, uh, if you have any further questions or uh, you know um, clarification you need from me just uh, put in a comment and uh, please do not forget to uh, like the video and subscribe to this channel so thank you so much for watching and uh, I wish you a good day ahead. Bye-bye.